Okay, this is incredibly annoying. So I came back to check to the rest at the end because I'm leveling up, and I get a new thing from Valso here when I check to see. Yes. I didn't even have to level up, I just have to leave town and come back, and now all of a sudden Valsu's ready to come with me. You know what, Valsu? Yeah, I'll still accept it. Epic wind music! Alright, look at that. We're, we're, we're kind of dancing here. Status, Balsu, look at that, he is level 14, so I am one ahead of him, he does use equipment, a saber, I assume that's going to be a sword, a seize, I don't know what that stands for, and a scarf, um, he does have quite a bit of gill, I think that's my gill actually, um, nothing too great there except that magic stat, that's going to be huge, uh, let's see if I can buy him any equipment, it is a him, right, Valsu? Um, I don't, I don't even know. Alright, I have a ton of money thanks to all that leveling. I actually, uh, am starting to lose opals because monsters have been dropping them and you can still only carry nine of them. Let's see, Valsu, what do you, what do you get? He's already got the best equipment here, the saber. Um. Alright. Does he have the best armor as well? Hey, what's up? I got a buddy now. What? And uh, that's not what I asked. Ugh, people, man. What do you got? Valsu needs it. He's got the extra. Is that better than what you got? How do I know if it's better than what he's got? got the seas. Bye. For Valsu. Extra. Oh. Then. Then no. Alright, so he's already got the best equipment. Sweet. So we can just move on out. We're going to the Cave of Melanum. I'm not exactly sure where that is, but we'll have fun finding it out together, won't we? Maybe. All right, so I assume it's to the west. <laughs> Simply because I've been east, and there's there's nothing pleasant there. All right, let's move on. That's kind of weird. This is the first game I've ever played with the, the companion follows you on the world map. Uh, no new enemies. Holy crap, there's two of them. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and show this one. Uh, let's defend first. You defend too. Sweet. Oh, one-shotted! What now, bitch? Uh, you defend again. You attack. Um, the reason I keep on defending with Valsu is because it will automatically target the last thing that made, uh, that made a move and it looks like he, it was his turn. Uh, Valsu should be able to finish that one off. Yes, it does. Look at that. 46. I think that was a crit. He doesn't usually do that kind of damage. But look at that MP. He's got 67. Good lord. Uh, nothing around here. Another random battle, though. And we have a new enemy. It looks like a like a purplish demon. Let's see how it works. It misses. That's how it works. And boom, take a staff to the head. It was a it was a blue demon. I'm assuming. Uh, not too hard. Uh, it does take two shots for Necro. It looks like. Um, is it up here? Running away from monsters, it looks like, but not particularly on purpose. Uh, is there anything on my map? No, because it's lame as hell. What kind of map doesn't have, like, names on it? Um, doesn't look like there's anything up there, so let's go down into a battle. 
You know, for a priest, Vasu kicks some ass. He's actually pretty good. He's a lot stronger than I thought he would be. He's not like a pure um, white mage. All right, and I did level Necro up again, and he learned MP Catcher, which is awesome, except that he doesn't use MP very often. And right outside the cave, we get into another battle, which is not awesome. Be right back. All right, into the cave we go. And holy crap, look at all that stuff. And I assume that's the room that that big, bright, red thing. Let's see, what is going on in this cave here? What the hell is that? It's like a, a goblin with a mace and a backpack. Whoa, he packs a little bit of a punch too. It's an orc! Nice! Well, not nice for orcs, but it's cool that there's orcs in these games. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Be right back. Alright. Did heal up, and of course, while I was healing up, I got into another battle, but I cut that out. Um, I will actually uh, be doing this next time. Hope to get to see you guys then. I'm going to uh, find out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing in here. Uh, I know how to get the rune, but I don't want to run into any, any surprise bosses that I need to be level 24. Uh, so I will look that up, and I will be back. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye. And looking over, I still have quite some time left on this video. So I did a random edit back to the starting town of... Lamel, uh, Lamil, uh, did want to show this guy to you guys. Uh, you search the fountain and it heals you up. Um, with some little music for you guys. All right, and uh, most starting towns usually have an instant free heal like that. Please get out of my way. Please get out of my way. Uh, we can talk to this little boy here. Sure, you're that little boy that was standing by the river. Yay, we're still friends. Yeah, poundy. Watch out for the spikes. Please move, please move. You have anything to say? Um, whatever. Uh, another secret thing here. Um, I did watch a couple uh, other Let's Plays. So I know, hey, there's an opal here. What do you know? Of course, I don't know everything about this game. That's why I have to do this random edit video at the back end of my game. Another quick one here, and uh, then we should be able to move on. Uh, there is something over here. Hey, are you still my girlfriend? That was you, right? That's all you have to say? Dude, does that mean we were broken up? That sucks. I was starting to get to know you real well identify you even though everybody else looks like you if you look at this bed just like that we can get a mirror now mirrors um, reflect petrify spells you know like Medusa and all that kind of stuff uh, that would have made a battling trick a lot easier I wish I knew that was there uh, so I'm going to do another random cut now I'll meet you in Rablesk see you then and we're back in Rablesk. Um, I did get a ton of B powers while we were there. Hey, there's a little place right here. Oh, there's a potion one hidden there. Secret treasure! Yeah, I stole that, don't worry. I'm sure he won't mind, nor will he ever see this. And then what's over here? A protection seed! Um, I'm going to use that off screen. I do want to put it on Valsu. Um, Hopefully he can get four, so that's why I'm going to do it off screen. And then down here, if you remember, there was a guy. Uh, where was he? He was about here-ish, wasn't he? It is out. He was outside, wasn't he? Hmm. Where was it? There it is, a mosquito. Uh, that's basically a little HP catcher move right there. Uh, I've got B powers there, I'm gonna buy B protects here, and I will meet you in the next town.
see you then. And we're back in Bonro, and if we look right here, a shield destroyer that lowers the opponent's defense by half. And what is up, Asuna? Um, can Valsu join? No, he cannot. So let's drop a B power first. Seventy up. Up goes her defense. Defend. Up goes her power. Attack! Oh, what now? Attack! Oh, so close. But I am doing 48 damage and she's only healing by 40. Oh, but she missed and... Holy shnikes, look at that. I hate that ice spell. But down as soon as it goes. 1,089 experience, 340 gold. That was well worth it even though it was kind of scary there. So I am going to heal up, and uh, we'll find out if anybody else wants to fight me. If uh, they do, I will show it. Be right back. And we're back in Zealous, and do you know where the secret treasure is, viewers? It's very obvious. You can see it, I swear. It's right here. And it's Topaz. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. You could have just taken the one right there. It was, like, right there. I know at least one viewer knew where that was. What's up, Lux? You want to fight? Do 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 do. Like you're like a robot, right? So ha you have a computer. I hate that I can't like run into him. Urgh, I just stand there. All right, so one other place I wanted to go, and then I can show you guys why I had to come all the way back here and do all this stuff. Uh, here's the item shop. Go east of there, and there's a man here with a room that looks not suspicious at all. But there's a wind ball there, and a wind ball will uh, is like a warp spell. It'll warp you uh, to any town that you've been to previously. All right, now for the reason that I had to come back in at all in the first place. Not because I had to level up like I had thought, but I needed to go into the inn, which I did find out is marked by this blank metal plate, because when I think of blank metal plates, I think I can sleep on it. Um, yeah. See, look, I went here, so I never knew. Hey, there's a dude up there. What is up, dude? Oh, you're Brancher? Where's Brush? Really? I found the cave. Is that what you mean? Yeah, you can come with me. Yeah, I've been there. Okay, deep inside the cave. Epic wind music! And I didn't even have to hold him above my head or anything. More power members! Unfortunately, he doesn't fight. So, um, I'm just gonna have to go right there. I am fully healed up, uh, fully stocked up on everything I wanted to be fully stocked up on. Uh, so I will meet you back inside the cave, probably at the entrance. See you guys next time. I believe this will be enough to end the video. So I will see you guys in the next part. Hopefully my timing is right because it has not been in the past. I'm thinking about changing this to an everyday thing because nobody seems to watch it at all when I just post it two times a week. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I've probably already made up the mind by the time I did upload this. But I hope to see you guys in the next part. See you then.